Hey friends, it's Mari. I'm excited to be guest designer today for Scrap Timber video a day. I just want to thank uh, Miranda and Laura and Natalie for inviting me to be part of this project. I'm going to be creating a 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout today using these three photos that you see on my desk. I'm using three black and white photos. The top photo is three, the top left photo is 3.7 by 3.7 and the other two photos are 2.6 by 2.6. I really wanted to do some mixed media today and I decided that I wanted to use um, these um, pigment powders by Vicki Booten. I think that they're really cool and I just got them and I really wanted to play around with them. So I'm going to take a piece of basil mars marshmallow uh, cardstock here and I'm going to run some molding paste through one of the Vicky Booten stencils. This stencil is from the new Wildflower and Honey collection and I'm just taking this molding paste and just you know taking the spatula and just uh, lightly putting a little bit of texture on my paper. I have treated my paper with some Prima Art Basics gesso and I just I've used some clear gesso here let that dry and now I'm just taking this molding paste and running it through that stencil to create that really cool texture. Now I'm going to be using some of the Wildflower and Honey papers in my um, layout today. And I just wanted to take a look at some of the papers and decide which colors I'm going to be using for my project. So I decided to use the Blue Hawaiian, the Sugared Strawberry, the Crushed Pineapple, and the Coral Macaroon. I think originally I thought I might use the, the light green. That light green green is called um, Juicy Pear, but I ended up just using those other four colors that I mentioned. Now I'm going to start off here with the Coral Macaroon, and I'm totally experimenting with this today. So uh, these are really, really cool little um, containers to apply the product. They have a little shaker top in them. And so you could either shake this directly onto your project or shake the powders onto something else and then activate them with water in that way. Um, so I'm just testing them out. I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do with them. I have used Magicals before and I've also used, um, uh, if I can remember the name, I think they're called Nuance or something like that. But I've used those in art journaling before, but I hadn't used, and, and actually I've used Magicals in um, scrapbooking before, but not for a long time. Um, but this is really similar. It's a similar idea. And so what I ended up doing, and I thought probably is the, the best way to use these, at least from my perspective at this point for this type of technique, is to just put the powder right onto your project and then spray it with water or um, activate it just with your brush. And it is quite, um, the powder is, is uh, well, it's <laughs> to say that it's powdery is, doesn't really help you to understand what it is, but it's, um, it's very, very dry and it takes a lot of water to activate this, this specific medium. It's very, uh, very cool. And I love the pigments and you'll see here, this yellow is really, really vibrant. The coral macaroon, macaroon, I think it is. Yeah. Coral macaroon. The first color I used there is, is really light. Um, I could have intensified it a bit here by just straight up putting a little bit more on and that's what you'll see me doing here, but it's still not, um, super dark. It's a really light, light color. So I ended up going in a little bit later with a sugared strawberry just to intensify that pink a little bit. Cause I wanted the pink to be a lot more dominant than it is here. It was fine with me if it ran into the yellow. In fact, I was more than happy with that and I encouraged that as I was uh, adding the water and making it run around the, the page here because pink and, and uh, yellow make an orangey tone and I really was more than happy to have some orange on here. So um, you'll just see me adding more of the pigments. Um, I will add that blue Hawaiian on here. That's going to go on next and and then um, the uh, more of the sugared strawberry and just kind of add, adding it around. So I'm going to just toss this on here, powder it on, and the blue Hawaiian is pretty intense. So the crushed pineapple and the blue Hawaiian are, are super intense colors. You can see that this is a lot darker. What a beautiful color. And I'm really excited to try some different things with these 
uh, pigment powders. I'm excited to try them, um, adding them into the, the molding paste itself so that the molding paste then would be colored. Um, and so on. There's a lot of really interesting and different things that you could do with this. So I've, I'm just using a mop brush here. Um, the nice thing about a mop brush is that it holds a lot of water. And uh, I just wanted to move that pigment around with a bunch of water here and you'll just see me continue to do that. So just lifting the paper up, letting it run a little bit um, and so on. And, and it's just fine if that yellow and the blue Hawaiian mixed together because it's then it kind of creates more of a vibrant green color. And I love how the, the color mixing happens when you've got a medium like this. It's, I think it's just really cool. Now I did want to bring that pink down to the bottom a little bit too. And I think I end up doing this off camera, but I take the, the pink and the yellow a little bit more down to the, to the bottom of the project. Now, the interesting thing about adding um, mixed media like this to your paper is like at this point, I really only sort of had an idea of where I wanted my photographs to go. So I really wanted to make sure, um, now you see I'm adding that sugared strawberry to the top. I really wanted to make sure that I had lots of mixed media on the paper before I started with my photos because um, I do have three photos for this layout and I, I know that they're going to cover up some of this mixed media for sure. So I just wanted to have enough of this color and the texture poking out around the photos and the different things that I'd be adding so that um, it doesn't all get covered up. But uh, I just wanted it to, um, yeah, I wanted there to be enough of the mixed media around my photos. So I've made it fairly large and you can see that it's a pretty big area that has the texture and the colors. And clearly here, I'm not done yet. I am going to add some more. So here I go. And oh, I know what I'm doing here now. I'm actually going to add some splatters. So I'm just going to go in with some splatters. Just going to um, get that a little bit of that blue Hawaiian wet over here on the side and add that in. Just add some splatters there. And just using one of those Vicky Booten um, art brushes to, to add those splatters going to add uh, some of the blue Hawaiian. Like I said, I'm going to add some of that sugared strawberry as splatters. And I'll also add the, the yellow onto the yellow area. So I tried to stick with the color um, of the paint area where I'm splattering. So you can see that pink where I'm splattering there with pink. And I splattered with the, the aqua where the aqua is. And I'll splatter with the yellow where the yellow is. Anyway, I really like tapping the little shaker container upside down so that the, the stuff comes, the powder is then in kind of in the lid. And then when you tip it back, it is a little bit easier to get it out. And so I found that as I was working with the containers, I was learning. So you guys are learning along with me. Um, now I've got that all done and that's dry. And I wanted to matte my photos. So I'm taking a different color for each of my photos from the color palette that I'm sticking with in the layout. So that really pretty pink, um, a yellow tone and kind of a greeny aqua tone. And so I am going to just do a really simple thin layer of matting for each one of these photos. Uh, I'll do most of this off camera here. This is just, I'm just trimming this up so that it's all even on all the sides. And then what you'll see me do is I'm going to do a little bit more of uh, pattern paper layering behind the photos, just with some leftover strips from the paper that I've already used. So I just cut them into different lengths and widths and stapled them together. And now I'm going to pop my photo up on some foam adhesive onto those photo layers. So those photo layers are stapled together and then this is just gonna go on top. Um, I really love that text paper from this Wildflower and Honey collection. It's a craft paper with kind of a cream colored scripty text on it. I'm fairly certain that that is Vicky's handwriting. She has beautiful handwriting. And um, I just think that is adds a really cool addition to those photo layers. So now I've got those mats all done. Um, what I wanted to do next is pop these up onto some foam adhesive. This is just some craft foam adhesive. 
um, or just it's just craft foam with a little layer of he adhesive on the back and I'm just adding that to the back of my photos and I am going to stick that down with some liquid adhesive onto the layout that is super important when you're using a lot of mixed media on your project and you want to stick something down to it it's really important to use a really good liquid adhesive to to get things to stick down there now this piece of ephemera from one of the ephemera packs is genius i love it and it is perfect for what i'm going to be journaling about here today uh, the ephemera piece says be someone who makes everybody feel like somebody while you're watching me um, do the clustering and some of the embellishing here, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about these photographs and what I'm, um, what my layout is about today. So um, each of these photos is a picture of Bailey with a really good friend of hers, Maya, and Maya actually um, moved to Australia and Bailey met her through uh, Bailey's husband, Bailey's husband and Maya's husband were, are, are really great friends. And so these two girls, um, met each other and just became wonderful, wonderful pals. And they have a lot in common. They're both nurses and they are just a really good pair. Um, they're, I feel like they really complement each other's personalities. And, uh, in the journaling, I just talk a little bit here about, how it's really important for women to lift each other up, to find friendships that um, help you be stronger, better people, not drag you down. <laughs> I know that probably sounds really harsh, but I know that all of you women out there really get that. You totally understand that. Like it's really important to, to just uh, find strength in numbers and, and help each other be kind and loving and caring and not selfish and jealous, um, but be happy when, e when each other has success and those kinds of things. Like those are all things that we teach our girls when we're, when we're raising them, right? To be strong women um, and, and, uh, and, but good, kind, loyal friends, right? And so this is the kind of friendship that these two have. And uh, I know Bailey really misses her, but these photos, uh, the one, not the one at the top, but the one on the right and the bottom one are when Bailey and her husband were in Australia visiting Maya and her husband. And then the top photo is, is just from a wedding that they were at this summer. So, um, yeah, it's just, I love this. I love these photos. I love the series of photos. I like having that larger square and then the smaller two square photos, um, I like the, the complementary shapes of the photos. Um, I think this is an interesting placement of the photos in the sense that there's still a spot to do some journaling. And you can see the logical place for the clusters on the corners of the photos. Um, I'm just using the florals from Vicky's uh, Wildflower and Honey collection. Uh, some of those florals I've stamped. Um, the ones that you saw me die cutting, I stamped those out with a stamp from the collection. And then I used the die that's in that um, stamp set. The stamp sets, which is brilliant to me, come with the, the coordinating dies, which is very cool. And, uh, and so I stamped them in colors that would coordinate with the colors I've used and then die cut the little floral pieces out to add a layer onto those those. Uh, cluster areas on each of the photos and then of course I had to use these little butterflies but you know what it's so sad because the last butterfly I'm using here is my last butterfly so I'm going to crop and create in Cornwall next weekend and I am going to try to find some more of these layered butterflies because they are genius and I love them and I want hundreds of them so um, this layout's mostly going to be finished something that I ended up adding off camera that I'll tell you about is some gold splatters and I didn't use color shine I used uh, it's called golden fluid acrylic and it's iridescent gold deep and I love it it's just a really beautiful rich gold and it's quite thick because it's an acrylic um, it leaves just kind of like a really nice textured splatter um, you can see I've added some more embellishments I added a journaling spot there that's a journaling card from Vicky's journaling uh, die cuts they're also genius I love those I think she's had them in every one of her collections and it's one of my favorite things about the collections um, it's just a perfect little addition sorry my head's getting in the way there for that journaling spot and I will do the journaling by hand I also love and she had these with one other collection I think um, 
I think her very first collection, just these little black phrase stickers or little phrase stickers where the, the um, text is in black and some of them are script and some of them are printed, but they're perfect. And so one I put on there says with you and another one says carefree and another one says your strength. So I thought that was perfect for what I was journaling about. I also did a sewing border just with some white thread around the edge, nothing exciting, but just to add a little more texture and my layout's finished. And I do have some uh, still shots at the end. So see if you can check out and see that really shiny gold splatter effect that I added. I love it. And I really like how this turned out. Um, I love these photos and these girls are really good pals and wonderful for each other. And I know how much Bailey misses her. Thanks so much for, for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Have an amazing day and make sure you check the links below for more Scrap Timber goodness. Bye guys. Have an amazing day. And I'll see you again.